Now I recognize the ranking member of the Judiciary Committee, the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan, for his opening statement. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, life is precious. Every single life is precious and worthy of protection. And that's, that fundamental principle is what the Texas law is about. It's what the pro-life movement is about. But that's not what Democrats are about in Congress. Democrats are now <clears throat> trying to abandon the Hyde Amendment. Language that's been in our law, been, been in every appropriation measure for the last 45 years, which says that federal tax money, the American people's tax money, will not be used to take the life of an unborn child. Even with the Hyde Amendment in place, over half a billion dollars in taxpayer funding is flowing to Planned Parenthood annually. And now, if the Hyde Amendment is actually repealed, as the Democrats seek to do, Planned Parenthood, which does over 350,000 abortions per year, will stand to get even more taxpayer money. For decades, Democrats respected that those who oppose abortion should not have their tax dollars used to fund it. Now they don't. Even President Biden changed his position. He used to be for the Hyde Amendment language. Now he's not. That's how radical the Democrats' position has become on unborn children. Republicans have numerous bills that would protect the unborn, and it is our great hope that someday our colleagues on the other side of the aisle would considering moving those pieces of legislation. But let's be honest. Democrats aren't here today to have an honest debate about the sanctity of life or the role of government in protecting unborn children. Instead, they're here to play politics with our institutions and advance a radical leftist agenda. Right now, right now, there are three pro-life cases, three life cases before the Supreme Court, and this very week, the same week that the chairman chose to convene this hearing, the court held oral, argu oral arguments on two of those cases. Let's be clear. The Democrats have convened this hearing as a way to pressure the Supreme Court to try to intimidate the Supreme Court. It's a playbook Democrats used when the court was considering the census last Congress, sensationalize a legal question to delegitimize the court's role in interpreting the law. Today, their focus is on this pro-life law from the state of Texas. Last year, while the court heard oral arguments in the case regarding a Louisiana pro-life law, Senator Schumer stood in front of the Supreme Court and said this, I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. If that's not threatening, that's not trying to intimidate, I don't know what is. He did that in front of the Supreme Court that day. And in April, Chairman Nadler and other Democrat members of this committee made good on Senator Schumer's threat. They introduced legislation that would add justices to the Supreme Court. Four associate justices, not one, not two, not three, but four. And why, why might they want four new justices? Because four new justices appointed by President Biden is the golden number for getting to a liberal majority on the court. Even President Biden's bipartisan commission criticized this issue in their preliminary report last month. They wrote, court expansion is likely to undermine rather than enhance the Supreme Court's legitimacy and its role in the constitutional system. And there are significant reasons to be skeptical that expansion would serve Democrat values, close quote. But that didn't deter congressional Democrats. After the release of the commission's draft report, the chairman of this committee and other Democrats promptly issued a statement condemning its finding, deriding President Trump, and doubling down on their plan. Quote, we must pass legislation to, to expand the Supreme Court. And just yesterday, Congressman Jeffries doubled down on Democrats' attack on the court, tweeting, the right-wing majority on the Supreme Court is completely illegitimate. That statement doesn't make sense. I mean, I think Mr. Gorsuch, Mr. Kavanaugh, Justice Coney Barrett, I think they were all nominated by the president, confirmed by the Senate. I think they're as legitimate as you can get under our constitutional system. But somehow the Democrats view that as illegitimate simply because they're pro-life. Just so we are clear, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, the committee charged by the American people with overseeing the judiciary and the federal justice system in our country has introduced legislation to upset the balance of the Supreme Court, all for political ends. This is just one branch of the government that Democrats don't control, and they can't stand it. The American people, I think, I think see through this all. The Texas law, again, is focused on the sanctity of life and protecting those who can't protect themselves. That's what the pro-life movement's about. Life is precious, and let's protect those who can't protect themselves. Democrats in Congress are focusing on pressuring the court, intimidating the court, 
and packing the court. And the American people see it for what it is. I want to thank our witnesses for being here, especially Ms. Foster, and for her work with Americans United for Life. Mr. Chairman, I yield back.